Okay, so we're going to take a look at how to use the uh, Weld Symbols app for the iPhone iPod Touch. Um, this is uh, a Televerus app. Okay, uh, if you want to get started quick and you're just using the app to uh, see what a particular weld type is, you can choose your weld type from the list. So we'll choose Bevel Groove Weld. Click on Section 5 or drag Section 5 out and we can see basically what a bevel groove weld looks like. Okay, we have uh, several options for each of the welds depending on their availability. Um, but in this case we've got the bevel groove weld and the edge preparation options are just above it. So right now we have uh, inside bevel groove edge preparation, the outside butt edge lap T. So we'll leave it on T go to step two choose a process so in this case we choose arc welding and it gives us a description as to uh, what arc welding is basically and then there's the sub categories within that um, we can go well for this case we'll just use the just use the base arc welding option and that's here in the weld symbol uh, surface preparation. This is typically applied after the weld has been completed, um, but it gives the welder a good indication as to uh, what's to be expected once he's done with the weld, and that'll gear how he creates the weld in the first place. Um, so we'll choose convex, and we can we can choose we can leave it as just a shape uh, for the final weld, or choose a detailed surface finish. And again, this is for the, uh, the finishing process. Okay, so we'll leave it at that. Dimensions, uh, if you're just looking to get an idea or communicate uh, type of weld or learn from this app, uh, you can just autofill the values, so you don't have to fill them all out, and uh, then take a look at your results. And so what we're looking at here are the, uh, the different values on the, the weld symbol and then the descriptions for what they are and then the actual values down here below okay i'll get back to uh, what we can do with these buttons in a, in a moment uh, there's different options on this particular weld we can add a backing weld maybe needed for support uh, you can give it a size or leave it blank um, that's up to you show us here now that uh, we've got a melt through or backing weld size which will be shown on here uh, while we're in here now let's take a look so if we want to communicate this particular weld symbol to somebody uh, either to manufacturing or if we're just trying to interpret it or communicate to anybody we can email it from within the app as long as your device has email capabilities and is, is enabled uh, so an image is generated automatically and you just choose your recipient and send away. Uh, alternatively, if you wanted to save what you've created for, uh, for later review or for sharing with someone uh, through text or any other means, uh, you can take a snapshot and it'll store the image in your uh, device's photo library. Uh, now on first time use, it'll ask you for permission to do that and but once you're beyond that once the app has permission it just grabs it as quick as you see there to, to store it into your your folder okay um, so there's different options with this particular weld style uh, or sorry um, edge preparation we have a weld all around option so we can turn on the weld all around and different values are required then um, but we'll just leave them blank for now we can auto fill again um, but this shows you uh, a weld all around scenario with a bevel groove type weld chosen or edge preparation chosen. Okay, um, and that's about it. Uh, the same, it goes through different ones. Uh, there's one additional feature uh, in the fillet weld. Uh, we have a um, uh, both sides selected. Sometimes you want to have a staggered welding pattern. Um, so 
so we'll see what that looks like in here. So we turn the staggered on, and it shows you the symbol that you would use to indicate that that's what you require. And when we look at the view, it shows that it's a, a staggered pitch on either side of the part. And again, we can uh, take a picture of that, or we can email that to somebody. And that about sums it up. Um, there are, I think there's about seven, yeah, there's 17 different types of wells to choose from. Um, and the options available are automatically enabled or disabled depending on whether the real world allows uh, the type of thing you're asking to do. Um, the autofill is a great feature if you're just learning um, uh, or there's a lot of standard values uh, for the uh, for the well already entered and it's just easier to edit. That's it. If you have any questions please uh, go ahead and contact us through the website and uh, we can address any issues. Oh actually one more thing before I go. Um, if you do happen to, uh, you have, you've gone through a, a weld, uh, set it all up and you want to reset without going back, clicking on everything. Um, there's a shake to reset option on the device. Um, and I'm in a simulator right now, so I have to click on a menu, but normally you would just shake. So you perform the shake gesture and then the device checks that you want to reset it wasn't an accidental shake uh, you can reset and it takes you back to zero okay hope you enjoy using the app and i hope you find it uh, helpful